Our first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated comedian and actor. You know from his work in Big Mouth, Don't Worry Darling, and Sing. He executive produces and stars in History of the World Part 2, which is streaming now on Hulu. Let's take a look. Luke, there it is. <laughs> Judas, what's going down? How you doing, man? Man, I had to get me something in my belly, man. You know, that last supper wasn't <laughs> Didn't hit anything for me. Yeah, more like a last snack, right? Nothing worse than going somewhere for a meal, and you got to come home and eat again. It's like, what's the point? I could have just stayed home. What's the point? I know. Jesus invites us over for dinner, and then what? It's like a bunch of small medi plates, one lamb meatball as an entree? If you're gonna give me one meatball, it better be a big ass meatball. If it's not bigger than my head, I don't want it. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Nick Kroll, everybody. <laughs> So lovely to have you back, Nick. Thank you for having me, Seth. It's great to have you. How's your family? Are they good? Uh, yeah, I'd rather not talk about my family, my kid. I don't, I'm not okay. just trying to stay private with that stuff. Okay, well, you could you can just say they're fine, you know? Oh, they're fine. Okay, great. <laughs> That's so much less aggressive. I know, it's, my son did the funniest thing. Oh, so now you <laughs> yeah. do want to talk about it. <laughs> on my terms. It's on, on my terms, terms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is so exciting. First of all, I remember seeing this movie when I was a kid. Yes. History of the World Part One, which mm -hmm. is very funny because there was an expectation, of course, there'd be a part two, yeah. and it's taken now over 30 years. Uh, 42 years 42 to be exact, years. yes. And so uh, this is a Mel Brooks uh, yes. film. Yes, and my son loves Mel Oh my gosh, Mel so Brooks. now we are gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like if I had asked, you would have had a different answer. If I, does your son like Mel Brooks? I just don't, I don't want to talk about okay, that. Okay, gotcha. It's like, I have my public <laughs> life, I am who I am here on television, and then I have my private life, my family okay, at home, it feels okay? like it's really, I don't know, gray area. So when Mel comes over to babysit, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a story about Mel, it's not about my kid. Okay, gotcha. I keep private, it's very separate, okay? <laughs> so, um, no, I've been a Mel Brooks fan my entire life, I, I assume you as well, and I, uh, I met him for the first time like 20 years ago, and uh, I was at an event and I went up to him and I said, Mr. Brooks, I, I just want to say hello. He's like, hello. And I said, I have an idea for a remake of The Producers. And he said, go do your own work. And then he just <laughs> walked away. <laughs> so 20 years later, look who comes <laughs> crawling back. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but. Uh, but the but the truth is, I mean, I was I he I took that to heart. Go do your own work. And I the when I was first moved to New York, I was doing like background work, extra stuff, and and uh, I would try to be in commercials. And I was told if you get your face on camera in a commercial, you get a full fee. Yeah. So I'd be like in an office commercial for like Xerox, and I you could just feel me in each take, just sort of being like sliding. <laughs> Sliding into frame. I don't know where Seth's camera is. Yeah, there. here, do my, yeah. uh, take, okay. me, take a single with me. Okay, Where's okay. my here single? Right, all right, ready? Here. here. If, if it's like a Xerox commercial and I just would sort of be like. <laughs> getting fired from commercial <laughs> after commercial. But one of, but, but I did do extra work, um, uh, background work. I did, I did do background work uh, um, when the season of Curb Your Enthusiasm, when Larry was playing Max Bialystok in The Producers on Broadway, I was in the crowd uh, in the St. James Theater doing extra work uh, for a Mel Brooks musical as portrayed by Larry David in uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. So now I'm doing Curb Your Judaism yeah. uh, again as a <laughs> you to both of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of Jewish layers oh that you just God. made. Yes, it's just like a, a, a moist, like, matzah meal. <laughs> <laughs> so you are playing uh, sort of a, that is Curb Your Judaism, that is the sketch we saw a clip yes. from. You're uh, playing a Larry David type. The actual J.B. Smoove is playing J.B. Smoove's Correct. part. Did you ever think that you should reach out to Larry and see if you wanted to play Larry? I thought the most respectful thing I could do was not make Larry David say no to me. Yeah. You know? Like, there's just no world. He was never going to say he yes. Was, and I was like, the nicest thing I can do is not even bother him with it. But I was like, I don't know if you can do Curb Your Enthusiasm without J.B. Smoove. Right. Because I think, like, I mean, J.B. is genuinely, like, the funniest person on the planet. And singular. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so... 
it just felt like that that would be a great way for us to kind of like uh, to to bring it all together. And it also should be noted, uh, you know, Richard Kinds in the sketch who's been on Curb. Yes. You have since doing background work a real triumph. You were then also on Curb. I have been on Curb, uh, and I have also and and Larry David was on the League as Future Me. Uh, so there you so go. in a way, he's already been on the show. <laughs> yeah. He really has. Um, uh, you guys were at uh, opening night. Uh, sorry, the premiere, I should say, not opening night. And um, this is a photo of you and, and Ike and, and Dave Stassen and Mel and Wanda. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is Mel on the red carpet? I mean, he's obviously done quite a few of his life. He's I mean, Mel's amazing. He's, he's 96. He's incredibly sharp, incredibly funny, but he's also very much Mel Brooks, so he will go. <laughs> he's like, the, the photographer is like, okay, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. And Mel goes, we're all looking at you. Take the picture. <laughs> And, and I was like, it's so funny. And he's saying what we all, it's like we're all just waiting to be 96 to be as honest as Mel. Yeah. But I would imagine that honesty might, I mean, sometimes you're there and you're enjoying him being honest with other people, but also through this process, you would pitch him jokes. Yeah. How was Mel uh, receiving joke pitches? He was actually great. Like, he, he narrates the show, and so I was directing him in the, you know, he, it, like in the original film, uh, Orson Welles uh, does all the narration. We had Mel narrate this one. And so he'll announce, like, the Civil War! And we'll have him do a couple. I was like, do one surprise. And he's like, oh, funny. And we'll go, like, the Civil War! And then I'll be like, now do one angry. And he'll go, no, that's stupid. It's uh, <laughs> a bad pitch. And I was like, oh, cool. So it's like you're my hero, literally my all time hero being like this. It was just a roller coaster of emotions, um, which is like what it's like having a son. OK. And I'm going to give you space. I'm going to give you space to, to tell a story if you want to tell a story. I Talk about my son? OK. <laughs> the guy's got no boundaries. It's like. TN <laughs> It's like he's like TMZ at the airport. <laughs> oh my God, come on. That is, man, I've known you a long time, how dare you? <laughs> you uh, don't know the black tracksuits that he normally wears. Yeah, I like to hang out. I just like to hang out at the luggage claim by LAX. Yeah. That's just a thing I do anyway. Very true. Um, uh, Johnny Knoxville plays Rasputin. Yes. And uh, in a sketch that sort of weaves its way through called Jack Rasp. Yes. <laughs> he reached out to you. He reached out when we announced that we were doing the show. He was like, "Mel is my hero. If there's anything I could do on the show, I would happily do it." And we were we were doing this whole Russian Revolution thing. Danny DeVito plays Tsar Nicholas. Dove Cameron plays uh, Princess Anastasia. Jack Black plays Joseph Stalin. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rob Corddry plays Lenin. The fastest casting I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I've been waiting like 20 years to be like Corddry's Lenin. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Moving on. So, and we get to Johnny yes. Knoxville as Rasputin. Very, uh, very And nice. doing Jack Rasp. <laughs> so he said, if, if, you, if you need anyone for anything, I was like, well, you know, they fam Rasputin was famously, they tried to kill Rasputin famously over and over. So who better to do that than <laughs> Knoxville, who's been doing it? And when I ca called him, I was like, hey, do you want to play Rasputin? He was like, oh, great, I would love to. I was at a, a sex shop slash urologist <laughs> in St. Petersburg, Russia, and I saw Rasputin's penis in a jar. <laughs> and then he sent me a picture of it. Uh, <laughs> well, then, at that point, it's fate. Yeah. I know, it was perfect. And my son loved the okay, idea yeah. of... <laughs> we do all of our castings together. He watches tape with me. And... Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't Nothing, know. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> but thank, thank you for sharing that. Okay, now this feels condescending. <laughs> Can I tell a story about um, uh, my character? Yeah. Okay. From oh, the show? Yeah, Jarena says hi, by the way. Oh, great, give her my love. I will. Okay. So, um, I, my character's name is, uh, in the Russian Revolution, is named Schmuck Mudman. Schmuck Mudman, yeah. which real has, I will say, has a real nice Nick Kroll sheen to it. <laughs> yeah, that right? Is, only Nick Kroll would come up with the name Schmuck Mudman. Well, it's like, I build my characters from the name up. Other people are like, what were their children, childhood like? No, yeah. I'm like, I'm just, his name is Schmuck Mudman. Yeah. That's what matters. Uh, that was not the first, uh, there were a couple other ideas that we had for a name. Uh, 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 Putz Fickstein <laughs> was, um, <laughs> The other name, and then we did some research and we found out that that was Clark Gable's <laughs> name in Gone with the Wind. All right. And you know that famous line, it's frankly, my dear, I don't give a name. <laughs> Let me do that again. <laughs> uh, 
famously Clark Gable's name in uh, Gone with the Wind. Yeah. And he, that famous line we all know is, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn, or my name is a <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I didn't even say it right. I <laughs> the whole thing up. Yeah. Can I, do it, can I do it one more time? No, guys? I don't think so. Trust me. I, uh, they have been watching this all night. They do not stand for flubs. Okay. <laughs> I was doing cocaine with this bear backstage. Oh, there you and go. So... That's what they like. And um... that's what they like. Callbacks. <laughs> we're eating. We're eating all those Starbucks egg bites. Oh, and I, I asked. I wouldn't call that one back. Okay. <laughs> I asked for a venti, one of these oh, venti oh. egg bites. Thank you for watching in the green room. Not yeah, everybody course. does. Not everybody does. Well, my son, I'm FaceTiming oh. with him. He's watching the show. Can I just quickly, I know we're running short, and so I want to quickly, <laughs> just quickly get to a few other things if I can. A few more. <laughs> uh, obviously, History of the World Part 2 is coming out. <laughs> I think we've established that. Uh, last season of Snowpiercer on TNT. You're not in that I'm show. I'm not in that show. Okay. Uh, also, Friends. Uh, the show it? Friends. What about it? It's great. It's on Peacock. Okay. You can stream it on Peacock. All right, or I, just friends. The concept of they just have more get, friends. Yeah, to have yeah. more friends. I well, want to you know what? That's that. a good message to end on. Can uh, we end on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say hi to my son. Where are you? Oh boy. Nick Kroll, everybody. Oh, yeah. History of the World. Bar